Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. This is a video on frequency density histograms as requested by Muhammad. Now, frequency density histograms are normally used when uh, we have frequency tables where our class intervals are of unequal width. So here uh, we have a frequency table and that shows the height of different trees in meters. On the left we have the column that says the height and this column is normally known as our class intervals or the class width and um, as we can see the first class interval is for any tree that is greater than zero meters in height and up to a maximum of two meters and the second one is greater than two meters in height and up to a maximum of four meters and the third one will be greater than four up to a maximum of eight and then greater than eight and up to a maximum of 16 and greater than 16 up to a maximum of 20. As we can see these class intervals have different widths so the first one has a range of two meters second one has a range of two meters the third one four meters next one eight meters and the last one again four meters so when this happens uh, we tend to use a frequency density histogram not a normal histogram to represent the data because the bars on the histogram are going to be of different widths so the areas of each bar will represent the frequency okay so in order to get started the first thing we're going to be using a formula and the formula we shall use is um, frequency density frequency density equals frequency divided by the class width okay and I also use a triangle to remember this so the triangle which I use it's going to be down below here and this is uh, very similar to the distance speed time triangle and it's a lot easier to remember so we have frequency at the top with F, frequency density, FD, and class width is CW. Okay. And this is a very important triangle. Uh, we will use it later on when we are solve when we are actually drawing the histogram. Anyway, so the first uh, column we've got two extra columns here. The first column is going to be for your class width. So I'll just write CW to represent the class width. And the way we work this out is basically we come to the left hand side over here. Okay. And we find the difference between the two ends of each class width over in this section. So the first one is going to be um, 2 minus 0. which is 2 and the next one is going to be 4 minus 2 which is also 2 and 8 minus 4 which is 4 16 minus 8 which is 8 and then 20 minus 16 which is also 4 okay and then the last column is going to be a frequency density okay so in order to get the frequency density we have to divide the frequency by the class width so we are going to do that by starting off 7 divided by 2 which is 3.5 so I am dividing at the moment my frequency, so everything in this column, 
by the class with everything in this column okay so we got 14 divide by 2 and that is 7 then uh, 18 divided by 4 that would be 4.5 Then we have 24 divided by 8, that will give us 3, and we have 10 divided by 4, which is 2.5. Okay, so we've got our frequency densities done. What we now need to do is we need to draw uh, a histogram for this. One second. Right, let's erase everything here. Hopefully, let's go to page one. We have that. Page two. Okay. So, yes. What we are going to do is draw our frequency density histogram. So I'm going to draw some axes first. Um, let's draw some axes. So that's going to be our horizontal and vertical. Okay, just undo that, try that one again. Okay, much better. Okay, let me go to my previous page. So the largest frequency density is going to be 7 and I have uh, some 0 0.5s there. So I will try and go up in 0 0.5s if I have enough. Need to have 14, then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. Right. The horizontal axis or the x axis is going to be your um, heights. Okay. So I can. Just uh, put an arrow here to show that it continues, and one up here. Okay, I'll put a zero here. Okay, and then my heights. If I go back to the table. Okay, so I've got zero to two, two to four. So I need from zero to twenty. So I'll go back to my graph. And do I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I can go up in ones. I'm going up in ones, but I'm writing every second number down. So we've got zero, two, that's going to be four. And then this one's six. This one should be eight. This one should be ten. And there we have twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. And twenty. Okay. And these are our heights in meters. In meters. Okay. Now our frequency density. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going up in once. The frequency density is always on the y-axis. But I'm going up in 0 0.5, sorry. And I'm going to write down my 
every second number just to save time so one two three four will it fit just about five Will it fit? Six and I want only seven. Okay, and can say that this is my frequency density. Okay, so let's have a look at our table. No, okay. So the table shows the first frequency density is 3.5. So I'm just going to try and go here. So what I'm going to do in a different color, let's choose green. I need to draw my graph, sorry, my bar, and it was from 0 to 2, and I'll go up to 3.5, which is over here. That's my first bar, and... Uh, Shade it in a little bit. Should I? Shade it in a little bit so you know, kind of makes some sense. Okay, now we got a rectangle there. Okay, here we go. We are looking at our second one. So here, again, um, our class width is from 2 to 4. And the frequency density for this one is 7. So we go back 2 to 4. And this one's 7. So 2 to 4. Four, and we need to go from here all the way to seven. The bars will be joined to each other. Okay, just like that. There's no gaps between them. Um, I'll shade these in afterwards. I'll try and quickly go through the rest so the next one will be uh, 428 and the frequency density is 4.5 so we go to from 4 to 8 so at 8 go down here 4.5 so there we go and I can just do that okay uh, let's go and have a look at the next one 8 to 16 and that's 3 and uh, 16 to 20 is 2.5 so 8 to 16 is 3 so at 16 I'll go to 3 3 across and at 20 it's 2.5 so just there, uh, oops, let me get rid of that, 2.5 is over here, right? So we can go across, okay, I'll just shade this in a little bit.
and this is what basically our histogram would look like um, the frequency is represented by the area of each of these histograms and I'm not very good at the shading quite clearly and that's how you would draw a frequency density histogram um, there are other questions on this as well where you have um, some questions where they give you the frequency density table of the they give you the frequency density um, histogram with bits missing and they give you the table with bits missing and you have to complete the question and we'll probably save that for another video this is already quite a lengthy one uh, on drawing frequency density histogram thanks for being patient and uh, watching this through hope this helps